I'm on my way to another spa adventure. Okay, as soon as you walk in, I mean, it's blue, right? I've stayed at the Fountain Blue in Miami before. This is just a little quick bathroom check. Had to check my hair and see what the bathroom was looking like. But yeah, I mean, the Fountain Blue in Miami, definitely a different vibe. But I'm not mad at this Las Vegas one. Okay, as you're walking in, it's just ultra spacious. This is the lobby area. Huge, huge. I mean... It's crazy. I love the fresh roses. Okay, you're always going to get me with that. I am a girl. But I mean, yeah, as you're walking to the main casino area, you have just a bit of a walk. And I feel like from self-parking, that's a little weird. Typically, you get right into the casino. And I love the Collins Bar. It's like paying homage to Miami, Collins Ave, all of that kind of stuff. Wide open space here. And that's the escalator that, that takes you upstairs to the spa. But before that, I wanted to go get my player's card and see if I could reap some benefits here. Chandeliers all across the ceilings. I'm telling you, if you love high ceilings, this is your casino. Um, a lot of people said that felt like kind of like an airport to them. Me, I felt like it was pretty cool. I like the color blue. They had a lot of my favorite slot machines. You saw one earlier, the little demon baby game. That's my fave. They have this beautiful beautiful bar right in the middle of the casino lots of chandeliers like I said and they had some of my favorite games I really love this guy this hot stuff baby I love him but just an idea of the floor here I mean this is not where the spa is this is where the spa is okay now I'm going up to the spa lots of empty space below me but the casino floor is nice but there's just lots of empty space that should definitely be filled with something I don't know what so as you get to the second level, I mean, you see a little cafe and a lot of false walls, actually, because the retail locations, all of them have not opened yet. It'll be interesting to see how this fills out. Also, on the second level, in a different area, you have like Miami restaurants like Poppy Steak, Komodo, that's somehow in the food court, which is really strange to me. I thought that was really, really weird. But anywho, long hallway. There's actually a cool bar that you didn't get to see as we were walking into the spa because this is about this spa. But anyway, as you walk in here, as big as the hotel is, you would have thought they would have had a bigger waiting area, but I'm not mad at it. They had a lot of nice things you could buy, lots of oils, which I love. Men and women's spa separate, obviously. And as you walk in, there's a little attendant. They take you right on a tour, get your robe. Wish it had pockets, but I do love that they have that new updated system with the wristbands there so you can lock your locker with ease waterproof band love it this place is huge this place really is huge guys I mean I got lost a number of times here's a little snack bar area in one of their waiting lounges I had some kind of water fusion mixture I don't know but they stocked the snacks pretty fast after that which was important to me because when I'm at the spa I get hungry those were chocolate balls pea wasabi mix uh, just banana chips all of that good stuff a lot of dried fruit and you have to understand something about me. I'm a spa regular, okay? Like, I need food when I go. And I'm very, very picky about where I spa. But I did like these little chocolate balls. They tasted like Fruity Pebbles or something. But this is the waiting area. It is gigantic. I'm sure it's like that on the men's side. The showers were nice. The conditioner was amazing for curly girl hair. I thought that was so important because some places have really thin, stupid conditioner. This place did not. They have private dressing rooms, which I love. This is in the women's area here. A hot tub and then a warmer tub and lots of chairs, lots of seating. They've got their own sauna area. They've got the steam room. This is the co-ed area though. And at first I was underwhelmed until the lights changed colors. And I was like, oh my God, this place is so cool. They have those warming loungers. They have the faucet that goes over your head and then just, you know, dumps all that water on you upstairs. You get an even more phenomenal view of the co-ed amenity area. This is the lounge. This is where you wait for your massages, all your spa treatments, your facials. But then when you look down, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the muddy shot right here. I loved it. I was just so obsessed. Me, I look for those ah, ah moments, A-W-E. I need eyegasms, okay? I'm sorry. And these colors definitely did it for me. I love red. It's my favorite color. I love the hot pink. It just was such a vibe. They need to do that all the time. It needs to be on all the time. But anyway, um, I went upstairs, was waiting in the little, you know, waiting area or whatever like this. First impression of the room, eh, didn't really care for it was just very basic, but here's what I did love, okay? That bed right there, it can adjust and sink in to your chest, okay? So like if you have big boobs, it kind of like sinks down and it really provides extra support and that was amazing. I absolutely love that. Anyway, I took the elevator down this time to the co-ed amenity area where the event sauna was and I did not record when the people were in there, but that's when the show was happening. There was this beautiful woman, you know, dancing with a towel, very talented, and there was aromatherapy. She was guiding you through a guided meditation, amazing. And I loved this. 
this is kind of like the tropical frost area or something like this. That water can be hot or cold and it changes colors and the two pressure points were nice. There's also this kind of herbal activation room. I didn't really smell anything in there. I don't know if it was even working, but it was kind of cool to have and I would love to come back and check it out. Now, I loved this salt cave room, okay, guys, because you could actually hear the salt being piped into the room and I love knowing that there's actually salt in the room because how many times you go to a spa and it's like, is there any salt? Like I see the pink Himalayan salt thing, but is there anything happening? I loved it. It was really very comfortable in here. They recommend that you stay in for like 15 minutes. I did that. I licked my skin and it was salty, crazy. And then there's the snow shower. Oh my God. That's what everybody wants to see. And let me tell you right now, like I'm from Kansas City, but damn, that snow was cold as hell. Like, oh my gosh. And there were just piles of snow on the ground in there, but it was really fun. And if you have a childlike spirit, this is the co-ed amenity room. So you and your friend, you and your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, like you could go in there and just have fun. I don't know. And if you want to be gross, you could have a snowball fight, but I wouldn't pick that snow off the floor. That's just nasty. So then I had to warm up a little bit because I was freezing after that. So I got into the hot tub, tried the steam room in the ladies lounge area, and it was really relaxing. Love that. And once again, just another view of that waiting area. But then there's the stargaze lounge. OMG, if you want to act like you're in a Rolls Royce, this is it. You only have to pay like $200 to get in. And there you are. No, I'm just kidding. Like, But your services are like around $200 starting for sure. But I really loved it. It was kind of a place where you could enjoy some snacks, maybe read, maybe just relax with some music. And this was kind of like the little vanity area, which... You know, I definitely enjoyed. They had some premium products in there that really didn't work that good for my hair, but the lotion was amazing. I always appreciate that because I hate crappy little amenities. I really do. Like, give us high quality stuff. And they had really great T3 blow dryers and flat irons, I believe. So I was having a good time, but I didn't really use any of that. I just slicked my hair back and, and tried to look cute because the spa was just about to close. But I, I really enjoyed that. I always use the mouthwash at the spa because it's scope. I feel like all of them use scope. I don't know why, but I love scope. I love the lighting in the locker rooms as well. Overall, I'd give this spot an eight out of 10. A nice little welcome glass with some champagne. Some tea would have been amazing. And then just some tweaks to the massage area. But please like, subscribe, leave comments so we can talk about it.